Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Tom. And we're from LandShack.com. Today we're going to talk about pre-terminated assemblies. If you're planning on pulling a pre-terminated fiber optic assembly, aka fiber whips, through a conduit, then you will definitely benefit from this video. Having the right conduit size and conduit design and properly applying lubricant are the most important things to consider when installing your fiber whips assembly. Friction is the enemy of wire pulling and anything that we could do to reduce friction will make the installation go much easier and much faster and much better. The most frequently asked question that we get on the subject of pre-terminated fiber assemblies is how wide or how thick the pulling basket or pulling eye and how thick is the fiber cable itself. Most people believe that knowing the answer to that question should make it clear to them what size conduit they should use, but that would be the wrong approach. That's right, Tom. When we set out to design a conduit for pre-terminated fiber optic assembly, we need to keep other things in mind, things like the total distance of the pole, the number of bends in the conduit, and whether or not there will be other cables inside of the conduit. So then knowing the answers to all of those questions will give us a feel for how much pulling force will be required to install the cable in the conduit and whether we should anticipate a difficult installation. There are things that we can do to reduce the friction and here's a quick list. Number one, choose to install an oversized conduit due to its larger bend radius. Which would you rather pull through this two inch or this inch and a quarter? Clearly the two inch has a much wider bend radius and therefore will be a lot less friction. Number two, replace conduit bends with pull boxes, thereby eliminating a bend and making each pull shorter. This method will greatly reduce friction. Number three, using a thicker rope to do the pulling on long runs. A thicker rope has less stretch and will give you more control. Number four, keep good communication and coordination with the person on the other end of the pole. It is important to have a good feed. Number five, always remember to use plenty of cable lubricant. For the ultimate lubrication on tough runs, you can pre-lubricate the conduit be sure to see our other video on how to pre-lubricate a conduit. This method can sometimes make the difference between success and failure. Generally, for most installations, we recommend the one inch to inch and a quarter conduits for indoors and two to three inch conduits for underground burial. Here's one last tip to consider. Did you know that fiber can remain underwater indefinitely without losing any of its transmission properties? Water cannot hurt fiber, but freezing and thawing potentially can. Outdoor fiber is designed to freeze and thaw, but best installation practices recommend that you bury your conduit below the frost line for your geographical location. My name is Tony. And I'm Tom. And we're from LandShack.com. Thank you for coming by today and visiting us. Remember us for all of your cabling and connectivity needs.